previously on Nix. Welcome to our second day here in Fukuoka. We need to go. Oh, this is the hammer. Hammer. Amazing. Oh, wow. We have to move to our people. Legit. And on we go. You, Frankie, you're holding this whole raft together for us. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Brown chairs. Okay, movie time. And now uh, this is the price for the Siwako. It's gonna cost six hundred and fifty thousand dollars uh, for 20, 25 minutes. And a uh, school diving, one million and one hundred. And in this season, only that season, they're gonna give you the video six hundred for free. Oh, nice. Yeah. So we walked all the way from here to that pier over there, where they're gonna pick us with the speed boat, but. We decided for the extra 40 minutes we have, we're gonna take a swim. Swim in the tunnel. Yeah, 30 and minutes ice and ice cream. <laughs> oh, funny. lunch has been served so we got a combination of rice different seafood fish prawns, vegetables also. prawns Calamari. I'm not impatient just tired of waiting 
turned every stone but none could cure my cravings i've been so close i've seen almost another near miss it's just the way it goes in my life been waiting for something to satisfy kept finding nothing used to listen when i was told it'll work out down the road well i made the climb now it's my time Final destination, here we are, Fingernail Island. Probably because it's just this little strip of ocean that comes in and uh, I guess from a bird's view, the sand looks like your fingernail. I don't know, that's just my guess. And I might be wrong, but I lasted this long. And if I may fall, I keep on That's what it looks like on the inside. It's just stables. And the small beach with all the all the boats coming in here. Now it's my time. Northern Lights, the Northern Lights of Fuqua. Stop, fle stop flexing, stop flexing. We realized we never gave a proper review of the John tour that we did on Fukuok Island. So we went on the beautiful cable car ride and then we went to the water park, which was absolutely amazing. We only got like an hour and 15 minutes. Then. Yeah, which is way so. too short. So we suggest you spend a lot more time in the water park. And then we also would suggest that you stay a while on Pineapple Beach because there's a beautiful restaurant, there are hammocks that you can relax in. And we didn't actually get any time on Pineapple Beach because we actually had to go to the pier where they offered us to do a sea walk and then they also offered a scuba diving but it's going to be like 40 minutes it was spot. quite expensive and it's right next to the pier around where like where all the boats are parked as well and not, it's not a great spot so we walked back to pineapple beach and spent literally like 30 minutes there but you can spend a whole day there it's beautiful yeah. clean clear water beautiful white sand and then we went off to the second location which was pearl island for lunch and to be honest with you we were very disappointed the island was very very narrow the ocean water was also dirty yeah. from all the um, oil or petrol leaking or whatever from the boats so because you literally swim next to the boats with like 20-30 yeah. boats parked there and so. you know what the lunch food was fine but the area was very very filthy and it did not smell very nice we were only supposed to be there for an hour and a half and then we ended up being there for three hours we think there might be a problem with the boats or some miscommunication and there was there sure. was nothing to do really it wasn't a nice yeah. beach where you can just chill and get a tan and then we went to the snorkeling to Ganji island I'll insert the name again. <laughs> I think it's Ganji Island and we were also very disappointed. Snorkeling was also disappointing. Um, maybe we, we were just um, left at a bad snorkeling spot, but the snorkeling was very, very disappointing as yeah. well. You can see like corals and like... The coral was fine, there was no sea life A few fish or anything, it's yeah. no color, it was like... 
I would not suggest We've had much better one. snorkeling experiences in the past. Yes. So. The last area we went to was Fingernail Island and we arrived at 5 p.m. So there were no drinks, no food. We were supposed to like get a drink then like uh, watch the, yeah, the sunset. The point was to get a drink while you watch the sunset, but everything was closed so we yeah. couldn't get any drinks And anymore. to be honest with you, the restaurant also smelled extremely extremely bad like i wouldn't have bought something there the only beautiful about fingernail island is the sunset which you would have seen in this video and so to take sunset pictures that may be a nice idea but i won't actually spend any time on the island itself so to conclude <laughs> our whole rant it's just to say that we would not suggest you do this John tour. Maybe mm. our experience was just wasn't very nice. I know the reviews, some are amazing, some are very bad. Yeah, the, the, the reviews are very extreme. Like yeah. some say it's amazing, others say it's absolutely horrible. Mm. Our friend who suggested it loved it. Loved it. We had a bad experience. So, so yeah, you not, no, never really know, but there are many different companies that provide tours. So all we want to say is do your research, make sure you get a very, very good tour. Otherwise, just go do the cable car, go to the amazing water park and yes. go lie on the hammock and pineapple. I would actually suggest take a full day, go to the water park. And when you're done there, walk down to Pineapple Beach, spend the day on Pineapple Beach. It's and amazing. if you want to go do a snorkeling trip, do a separate snorkeling trip. Somewhere um, else. Somewhere else, yeah. Okay, that's our feedback. Back to the video. <laughs>